Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Dark Souls 3 on New Game Plus 7 difficulty. This is my guided walkthrough, and we're now on the 19th installment. It is entitled The Irithal Dungeon and Profaned Capital. So, we're going to run past all these guys, past the guy with the flame wand, because he's a fucking asshole, embodied the embodiment of assholes, and we're going to arrive at the bonfire presently. So, this video, I think we're pretty much going to run past everything. And then we'll be uh, heading on up to Yorm, uh, a mandatory fight. There's me throwing a firebomb, thinking that I have the flasks equipped. And I don't particularly mind the catacombs, or whatever this, the dungeon as it's called. I don't mind it, I mean. But one thing this game has... Um, produced in me is a newfound respect for the bosses and I always had a healthy fear and respect for the bosses because I struggled uh, tremendously oh, oh the reason I got turned around here is because it was so bright in my room on the afternoon of me playing this that um, I couldn't see anything so just bear with me but I when I was going through campaign one there was many times when I pretty much uh, thought I was fated to not be able to beat the game and if I were to go back to campaign one now it would seem like child's play just because of all the damage that I now receive on uh, mode seven or campaign eight as it's called and it would it would truly be a simple experience but that doesn't mean that I never suffered and, and never struggled because I sure as hell did I probably struggled more than most most people did and uh, will so we're going to make sure we don't wake up the giant, and now we're going to cross this this bridge here. Don't sleep on these rats either, because they can um, they can all gang up on you and uh, chase you all over the place and be kind of buzz kills, in my opinion. And um, I have upgraded the storm ruler, or storm. I don't know what the hell that thing is called. It's actually the larger rats that will chase you down, so be careful of those things. And any fight that I don't include in this in this guide, um, I've I've decided that I'll put it as an addendum after the Lord of Cinder, the final boss. So we're talking about um, the Curse Rotted Great Tree. We're talking about Osiris and any other boss who's optional. I'll. Uh, yeah, be careful of the. These guys will actually chase you really far all over the place. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, any optional fights? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will include any optional fights at the end of the campaign. Of course, the Nameless King, too. Anyway, so there's an Ember. And now, unfortunately. I don't agree with how this enemy operates, stealing all of your health if it so much as glances at you. So, uh, just in preparation for the next video, equip the Storm Ringer and equip the uh, the Silver Cat Ring because we're going to uh, do some falling from high heights in a moment. But uh, this is the way over to the next bonfire. And after you ascend the ladder, there's going to be an item up here, and then a bonfire. And then we will face Yorm the Giant in the next video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I really appreciate all the, all the support, because this is a particularly a special project to me, just because it's so difficult. So thank you very much for watching, and take care of yourselves.